Hello and welcome, I'm Zach Yuson and this is your 6pm wrap. Who's on the shortlist to be the next justice of the Philippine Supreme Court? President Benigno Aquino's former classmate and Justice Secretary Benjamin Kagiwa leads the shortlist of candidates, followed by Andres Reyes, Jose Reyes, Maria Gracia Polido Tan, and Apolinario Bruselas. The Judicial and Bar Council trimmed the list of 16 possible replacements for retired Associate Justice Martin Villarama, who retired on January 16. In his JBC interview, Kagiwa defends Aquino in the disbursement acceleration program controversy, saying he can't be criminally charged for, quote, presidential pork barrel. Former Senator Kit Tatad urges the Philippine Supreme Court to reprimand Senator Grace Poe for her newest political ad. Tatad says Poe's ad is meant to sway the magistrates to vote in her favor. It features ordinary people discussing Poe's disqualification cases, citing similarities to the case her father won in 2004. The SC earlier advised all camps to avoid making public comments on the merits of the case, but Poe's camp says the ad only reflects public sentiment. A Rappler exclusive. The alleged mastermind in last week's Jakarta attacks denies responsibility. A six-second voice recording allegedly by Barum Naim circulates among extremist supporters in central Java in Indonesia. The man's voice denies he controlled the Serena attacks from Syria. This comes despite ISIS claims it's responsible for the attacks. Naim is believed to be fighting with ISIS's Southeast Asian group, Katiba Nusantara. The recording has yet to be verified, but members of an extremist group who know Naim say it is authentic. Indonesian police say Naim should come out in public if he wants to deny responsibility. A report by aid group Oxfam shows the world's 62 richest billionaires own as much wealth as the poorest half of the global population. The report, called An Economy for the 1%, also highlights a stark difference. 53 out of 62 are male and only 9 are female. To address inequality, the anti-poverty agency urges world leaders to end tax havens. This comes on the eve of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, an annual gathering of the world's financial and political elites. United States Democratic presidential candidates debate Sunday evening, Monday morning Manila time. Hillary Clinton touted her experience as former Secretary of State, Senator and point person for health reform. But Bernie Sanders says his proposal, Medicare for All, would save trillions over the next 10 years compared to the current one. Clinton says Sanders' plan will shred President Barack Obama's Affordable Care Act, adding that to tear it up and start again is the wrong direction. Sanders hits back and accuses the former First Lady of cozying up to billionaires, adding that she can't be tough enough on Wall Street banks. He says, quote, I don't take money from big banks. I don't get personal speaking fees from Goldman Sachs. The final Democratic debate before the Iowa meetings on February 1 can have a crucial impact on who wins the state. In 2008, Clinton led all her rivals into the home stretch, but lost to little-known Senator Barack Obama. And that's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Zach Yuson. Remember, tomorrow begins today.